Well, I get a 723. Of the Inflation Society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. Good morning. It's Monday. Today, I'm going to try and buy a new pair of shorts. It's national sales, which happen twice a year in France because the French government actually regulates when clearance sales can happen in the country. It's a six-week period, and it's basically the only time during the year that I shop in France because, let's be honest, otherwise it's just outrageously expensive to buy anything around here. So, we're going to go find some shorts. I figured I'd show you three areas of the city that are famous for their shopping between the Marais, Chablais, and the Champs Elysees. And yes, they all sort of rhyme, but that's French. Everything rhymes in French, and they don't even realize it half the time. So, let's go do that. But first things first. Well, first things first, probably wear a hat because it's really sunny outside. And second things first, coffee. YouTube channel, that's what this is from. I will link to it if you're into gaming channels and right, right, right. English accents. This is amazing, but uh, wrapping paper doesn't doesn't work as well in the mail as you would think. This is really super beat up, but it made it. Oh that is awesome. I think this is I don't have this one. Thank you. I need to figure out who sent this because somebody tweeted me asking if I'd gotten this yesterday and I don't know who that was. So I need to figure that out, but thank you. That name, I'll put it up when I figure it out. I really appreciate it, this is exciting. The newbie to the uh, the Peloton is going to join me as well for this walk. Basically, my thought was we'd walk through the Marais, over towards Châtelet, and then up the Champs Elysees, like I said. Uh, but probably should get lunch in there as well, which is one of the joys of shopping, right? Stopping for lunch along the way. How's the hat look? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that saves me. Thanks, Matt. I was really not wanting to buy a hat. I'm glad this showed up. So now I'm set for a while. And there's one other thing I was thinking about buying, but I might, I might hold off on that. Sales in France, I was just explaining to Jonas, and Laura can pitch in whenever she wants. She's French, so she can correct me if I'm wrong at any point. But clearance sales are only allowed during two months out of the year, two six-week windows, once in January and once in July, effectively. Otherwise, stores aren't allowed to have clearance sales. It's actually governed by the state. Uh, so we are currently in clearance sale time, and that's why it's national sales everywhere. So when you see the word sold in the windows, it means that they're having sales. The number one recommendation in the Marais is Miznan. Everyone will tell you about La de Falafel if you want to get falafel, but Miznan is basically French-Israeli fusion. What I got is the beef bourguignon and a pita, which I only ever get like 50% of the time because it's usually out. And it is amazing. I'm really hungry. What'd you get? Uh, that too. Okay, now that we're fed, we can get back on it. I am like the worst person to be talking about sales because I'm like the least consumeristic person. I don't buy anything, but that's why I have the goal of getting shorts at least. The thing is everywhere you go in the city right now, everything is gonna be on sale to certain, even this place over here like soap, supplements and stuff, they're all the way up to 50% 
Oh, and 70% over here, that's good. The strategy is that over time, the sales get better. So you have to kind of balance between like, as time goes on, the sales get deeper up to 70%, right? Like it gets pretty nuts, but the inventory drops as well because it's a clearance sale. So you kind of have to keep your eye on what you want, see when that balance comes between like, it's cheap enough, but still available, or you, you miss it forever. Marie's a great spot to go. We're gonna start walking towards Chatelet, which is like the number one shopping spot in Paris, pretty much just for its sheer density. Uh, and then we'll head up from there. We're making a quick detour as well. There's one of those Space Invaders. There's one that I thought I'd been taking down, so I never went back to find it because I thought it was gone. Really good to find that. I'm at 199, almost have 200 Space Invaders. But sorry if you're not here for the street art. Banksy was just here in Paris, and uh, a lot of them have been defaced and taken down. You go to Instagram, you can see the one that I posted earlier, but this one's right by Pompidou. And it's awesome. I love Banksy, it's just too great. Too good. Two hundred. That's two two hundred. I found two hundred. I can retire now. Just kidding. I'm never gonna retire. Back to the sales. I promise we'll get back to the sales now. This is Châtelet, which is the world's largest underground shopping mall. So it's shopping central, and all the streets around us are pretty much nothing but retail. Restaurants, yes. Overpriced restaurants, generally, and not always the best restaurants. So I wouldn't recommend eating here. Get lunch in the Marais or Republique, but end up here for like a lot of like very dense shopping very, very quickly. We're gonna go through the mall here for a second and down to the metro, where we'll head up to the Champs-Elysees, but figured we'd give you this view, because this is, if you're gonna go shopping in Paris, this is, this is not a, this is a, this is a spot to go. Oh, there's, there's, I do not have that one. Oh, Sorry, this is Space Invader Mania today. You actually what? Actually, Celio is where I was planning on going in the Champs Elysees anyways, so that we can check this out and see how this works. But I get my pants every time, so it's not an endorsement. It just happens to be the way it works. And 10% off everything because we got a t-shirt along the way, which you'll see eventually. So this is what sales are all about. The shopping mall has everything in it and it is the world's largest underground mall and they just recently finished renovating it. So it's interesting. I would say that like the new architecture is kind of beautiful, but it took me a minute to get used to it. It's kind of it's like a spaceship out of an alien movie, but that's kind of cool, I guess. Anyways, down to the Metro and then we'll go show you the Champs Elysees and then that'll be that. Famed Champs Elysees is probably the most famous shopping walk in the world. I don't think there's one that's even more anywhere remotely as famous as this. Lots of brands that are on the higher end, lots of expensive stuff, but there's some cheaper stuff too. Celio, the brand where I got the shorts, they're up here. They've got a really big store up here. H&M is here. There's a McDonald's here. I mean, it's not like it's that fancy really at the end of the day. Sephora. What, come on? Sephora. Sephora. Oh yeah, Sephora is here as well. Yeah, what else? Anything else? The Disney store is here. Uh... Louis Vuitton. It's where she gets all her handbags. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, Chanel, every, everything is here basically. And then there are guys that'll give you, they'll rent you a Lamborghini for 15 minutes if you're really desperate. So you can give that a try as well. But we're just gonna walk up and uh, get all the way to the top. It's a long walk all the way up. You can do a lot of shopping here. I did make a video on the differences between French and American McDonald's. Go check that out if you're interested in what the differences are between the McDonald's is. It's still not a satisfying meal, I'll just tell you that much. And of course, if you're walking in the heat like this, then you should probably end with a drink. 
beer. We're gonna go into the public drugstore here. It's this really big pharmacy on the end, on the edge of the city, or the end of the Champs Elysees that happens to have. Ah, oui, bien sûr. Anyways, it's kind of like a mini general store, but they have drinks in here. So if you don't want to sit at like one of the tables, skip going to the restaurant. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a drink in here and then go sit by the Arc de Triomphe and just enjoy the sights. Well worth it. I know I look ridiculous right now, but I'm just trying to keep the sun off my neck. Leave me alone. There you go. That was really fun. I actually bought some shorts for once and a new shirt, which I definitely needed. I'm just, I'm like the worst shopper ever though. Like it was, it was good that Laura came with me because otherwise I'm just not motivated to shop much. So obviously the video helped too. Way more fun with somebody else though. And if you're wondering why I don't shop or buy stuff much, you know, just go back here and watch some of my videos from how my life has been for, hopefully that helps you give an, have an idea of why you should be here in July or January if you wanna save money on clearance sales. And next year, they're gonna shorten the window a little bit, so be paying attention to that. It'll be four weeks instead of six. But they're also gonna try and implement something similar to a Black Friday. We'll see how that goes. Probably kind of exciting. Now I gotta go do laundry. Speaking of clothes, as I'm like running out, pretty much all out. I wasn't kidding about needing to go do laundry. I feel like a stinky Santa Claus over here or something. If you enjoyed today's video, I have made others that might be up your alley. Like, I think I linked above to things like cheaper free things to do in Paris. Of course, there are five great views of the city. Lots of different stuff. And I'm gonna be making even more this week, actually, in the coming couple of weeks. I just realized, you know, it's tourist season. Peak season, people are probably pretty interested. So tomorrow, I wasn't planning on doing this, but Laura uh, is here, actually, to learn more about the coffee scene in Paris. She's French but has living, been living in Australia for a while. So she's actually hasn't seen a lot of the coffee shops around town. So I'm bumping up my plan to do five great coffee shops in Paris. Uh, so if you wanna see five great, the best is probably how I'm gonna title it, but they're five great of the best, five of the best coffee shops in Paris. I'm gonna be showing you that tomorrow. She'll join me for that in the morning. And then of course I have some other stuff I gotta do. And then uh, I'm gonna do five pain au chocolat for French Friday. And uh, Alex is gonna join me for that nice guy. So we're gonna go do that together and explore some pain au chocolat, which is, uh, it's hard to say no to. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to laundry. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you made it this far, how have you not subscribed? And I will, uh, you know, I'll see you tomorrow.